My fellow Americans, this week I nominated Neil Gorsuch for the United States Supreme Court. Judge Gorsuch is one of the most qualified people ever to be nominated for this post. He's a graduate of Columbia, Harvard, and Oxford. He's a man of principle. He has an impeccable resume. He's widely respected by everyone. And Judge Gorsuch's proven track record upholding the Constitution makes him the ideal person to fill the vacancy left by the late, great Antonin Scalia, a truly fabulous justice. Ten years ago, the Senate unanimously approved Judge Gorsuch's nomination to serve on the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals. I urge members of both parties to support Judge Gorsuch and, in so doing, to protect our laws and our freedoms. This week, we also took significant action to roll back the massive regulation that is devastating our economy and crippling American companies and jobs. That's why I've issued a new executive order to create a permanent structure of regulatory reduction. This order requires that for every one new regulation, two old regulations must, and I mean must, be eliminated. It's out of control. The January employment report shows that the private sector added 237,000 jobs last month. A lot of that has to do with the spirit our country now has. Job growth far surpassed expectations in January, and the labor force participation also grew, so you can be encouraged about the progress of our economy. It's going to be a whole new ballgame. But there is still much work to do, that I can tell you. Also this week, on the first day, Black History Month, I was pleased to host African-American leaders at the White House. We're determined to deliver more opportunity, jobs, and safety for the African-American citizens of our country. America can really never, ever rest until children of every color are fully included in the American dream. So important. I think probably one of my most and maybe my most important goal. It is our mutual duty and obligation to make sure this happens. At Dover Air Force Base on Wednesday, I joined the family of Chief Special Warfare Operator William Ryan Owens as our fallen hero was returned home, a great man. Chief Owens gave his life for his country and for our people. Our debt to him and his family, a beautiful family, is eternal. God has truly blessed this nation to have given us such a brave and selfless patriot as Ryan. We will never forget him. We will never, ever forget those who serve, believe me. And I will never forget that my responsibility is to keep you, the American people, safe and free. That's why last week I signed an executive order to help keep terrorists out of our country. The executive order establishes a process to develop new vetting and mechanisms to ensure those coming into America love and support our people, that they have good intentions. On every single front, we are working to deliver for American workers and American families. You, the law-abiding citizens of this country, are my total priority. Your safety, your jobs, and your wages guide our decisions. We are here to serve you, the great and loyal citizens of the United States of America. The forgotten men and women will never be forgotten again, because from now on, it's going to be America first. That's how I got elected. That's why you voted for me, and I will never forget it. God bless you, and God bless America.